what the fasting lipid profile means and what are your thoughts on it? Um, so the, the screening for cholesterol is, as we've already discussed, it's a, a critical step in identifying people with elevated cholesterol who may require treatment for the prevention of cardiovascular disease. Um, there is some, there's been some debate whether it should be fasting or non-fasting. I think that uh, food intake prior to the test affects triglycerides more than any of the, the other species or types of cholesterol. Uh, but I think that the standard, as you mentioned, is the, the fasting lipid test. And, um, and we've been screening younger and younger people because we know that the sooner we identify this and diagnose it, the, the, the more time we have to treat it and prevent disease. That's right. And we'll talk a little bit more about who gets screened in a little bit. But certainly, we are doing a lot of different tests to look for these risk factors. Another test that patients will often ask us about in primary care is something called an advanced lipid test. Dr. Del Condi, can you tell us a little bit about that? So with the explosion in knowledge uh, about cholesterol, there has been uh, the development of uh, a number of different very sophisticated tests that not only mention the uh, tests that you, uh, that, that you already listed, LDL, HDL, triglycerides, total cholesterol, but they actually go into the, the different subtypes of LDL particles. Their size, uh, they're stratified according to their density, their size, their numbers, uh, and it gets very, very sophisticated. But I'll tell you that even within the cardiovascular community, there's a little bit of debate uh, on the value of these tests. I know that many of my colleagues still uh, send these tests and base some of their decisions on these results, but not all cardiovascular specialists do. And, and I think that if you look at the guidelines, not only the, the guidelines that we use here in the United States, uh, promoted by the American Heart Association, but if you look at uh, the European guidelines, et cetera, you will see that, that they also just favor the basic tests that you mentioned, LDL, HDL, triglycerides, total cholesterol. Simple, easy test to do.